I would like you to think, when you walk down the street or a city, how many monuments you find created for or named after women? Australia has only 3% of statues that celebrates women. In Europe and the United States, less than 10% are monuments of female, and largely are mythical figures. Likewise, in the regions of Asia, memorial sites commonly represent prominent accomplishments. This sends a very loud message that women are missing from our collective memory. The issue persists and remains unsolved around the world. A campaign called Put Her on the Map initiates in various countries to encourage more public sites to be named after women. My research is designed not only to put more women on the map, but also to examine the historical processes that shape women as a hero of the nation. By telling the first full account on how a particular female hero is celebrated at different points in history, I reveal there is a global trend of complexities and contradiction in remembering women in the public sphere. I found this phenomenon by tracing the contested status of one particular female hero from a province of Aceh named Chut Nyak Din. She is one of the only 8% of female in the list of national hero Indonesia. I investigate the way she is politically constructed in various sites of memory. I based this study on the archival research and fieldwork from multiple sites in Netherlands and Indonesia. I analyzed the evidence ranging from the imperial records to popular cultures in Dutch, Indonesia, and Achani sources in order to present a comprehensive account about the competing gender and national politics that involve in making the female hero. Indonesia is highly determined and bureaucratic in making the hero. The idea of a hero has generally been defined by images of anti-Dutch colonial and military forces with masculine attributes. The combination of militarized masculinity and nationalism has created a significant impact on how women can be celebrated as a hero. My research shows the narrative of female heroes in Indonesia is essentially composed of many political voices. Their commemoration is drawn profoundly from the Dutch imperial viewpoint. Although the concept of heroism has continuously moved toward a more inclusive direction, the nationalists still fail to offer a kind of heroism that genuinely empower female heroes. Instead, the female heroes are constructed to respond to change and political interests in modern history. Masculine culture has consistently shaped the way we value heroism and influence how we evaluate women in modern time. To put women on the map doesn't only mean to erect more women's statues, but also to celebrate equally various hands who have shaped our history. So, when we walk around, we would know and look at those figures, get the light they deserve.